Yeah, hello peeps, good and lovely people. Yeah, I'm here again to um as usual, <laughs> you know. Um, but right now I'm just here um to give us a kind of wake up call as Africans and as blacks. Yeah, a kind of wake up call, you know what I'm saying? Now let me just go straight because over the centuries we've been sleeping and we've been really, really sleeping as Africans. We've accepted uh, um the situations around us as a destiny or as the way we are. Uh, but I think we need to wake out of that slumber and the illusion we are under. Now, according to proven history, just follow, because their history, I'm not just sharing this according to um, some biblical things or things that are not real. We have history. I'm talking based on things that, that existed, on history, on the way we were. Now, according to proven history, human civilization started with the black people. Greece, which was thought to be the seat of ancient knowledge, actually got her sacred knowledge from the blacks. And these they themselves attested to. Now, Black spirituality was the envy of every, you know, was the envy of the world as at then. And the blacks were really, really favored when they were still themselves. And then, and then, the predators, the predators came and sold us their ideologies and their white God and Jesus. Now, they called us black monkeys. They called us primitives. They said we were witches and wizards with fetish ways. You know, not known to us that they actually know that if they let us be with our ways, we will be far, 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 far above. Now, they came to brainwash us. They took all we had, all our ancestral relics, all our artifacts. They called our spirituality evil, and they sold us their foreign religions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. They stripped us and left us naked. Hmm. They fucked with our minds. Wow. They sold us white supremacy. They called us inferior and said we are best as slaves, which is still embedded in the subconscious of many black people till date. In fact, we are now crazier than them in these religions which they formed from their deceptive mind and brought over to enslave us. Yeah. You only need to do your research and see the history of all these religions and you will weep because it's the biggest lie ever sold to humanity. This I term the highest form of evil in the history of humanity. As Africans, we used to be very advanced and creative in all areas of life with proofs that they themselves hid over the centuries. But everything is now coming to light. You only need to look within first and then do your own research. As Africans, we used to be one. We were our brother's keeper. We had our ways with the divine, with nature and with the universe. But we lost our identity, our history, our spirituality we lost it all no wonder we are now like this no wonder it seems like we can't move forward like never before and hope not in sight hmm. as Africans no one needs to tell us about morals about love about oneness all of these were our natural ways of life and part of our culture Till they brought their religions, which has kept us struggling with morals, integrity, love, nature, and everything ever since. Africans, can't you see? Can't you wake up from this lumber? Can't you wake up? Wow. How long are we going to be sleeping? How long, how long, how long under the white man's spell? We used to live like king and queens with no need for toiling. Considering the vast abundance of resources that nature has endowed us with. But today, reverse is the case. It's really so sad that the slavery still continues as they keep ripping us and plundering our resources. Chosen leaders for us, which are obviously their puppets. 
while we kill ourselves and struggle to go to the white man's land to hustle and slave for them amidst all the abundance in our land. Why? Not until we begin to connect to our divine selves, retrace our steps and find our way back to our origin and roots and find our way back home. Then can we and our children fulfill our destiny as blacks? It's a choice we have to make whether to continue in the deception or get liberated. It's a choice. Now, what has the white man's religion done for you ever since? Think about it. Just take a look at the continent and tell me if it's getting better or worse for it. Take a look. Take a look. Better wake up black people. Let's look within. Let's look within once again. We are Africans. We are black people. The origin of civilization. Let's take back our rightful position on this planet. It's time we put an end to us being at the lowest rung or strata of every department on this planet. It's time. It's time. It's time. Hmm. Let's get back to our own ways of spirituality. Leaving the, colonial, leaving the colonialist religions behind. It's not working for us. Can't you see? Let's go back to nature and oneness with all life and the universe. Let's be ourselves. You can never be someone else now and expect to make a headway. You can't be someone else and expect to, to make a headway. We have done enough of this. We've done enough of their ways. Let's try us again and see whether there will be a change or not. Black people, wake up. Africans, wake up. Nigerians, wake up. It's time to know thyself. Meditate on this. Until I come your way again next, all the peace, all the love, all the bliss and ecstasy, one love.